Instead of printing a print composition in a sheet model, the preferred method, it is also possible to print directly from a design model. When you do, a border must be manually placed in the DGN and you must define the print area with a fence. In this lesson you will learn how to set up and generate a scaled print directly from within a design model. Open BSI 300 AE9 hyphen atrium.dgn from the backslash msbasics backslash dgn backslash 12 printing and publishing dataset folder. Open the composite model. This is a 3D design model. In the view control bar, press the view rotation icon and in the menu select top view. Fit the view and zoom out a bit. This design model is created at a full size of 1 to 1 as you would expect. To be able to print it on an A1 paper sheet, we need to scale it down with a factor of 1 to 100. But first, we need to attach a border. Because we intend on printing the design with a scale of 1 to 100, the border has to be attached with a reverse scale of 100 to 1. In the References dialog, click Attach Reference and select A1 border.dgn from the backslash msbasics backslash dgn backslash 12 printing and publishing folder. In the Reference Attachment Settings dialog, set the following. Model, Default. This is a full-size A1 border model. Orientation, Standard Views, Top. Scale, Master Reference, 100 to 1. Nested attachments, no nesting. True scale, enabled. Click OK and enter a data point to place the border around the design. The easiest way to define the print area in a design model is by placing a fence. Select Place Fence in the main toolbar of the Tasks dialog and set the following. Fence type, block. Fence mode, inside. With both the control and shift key pressed to enable AccuSnap, place a fence by snapping to the lower left corner of the dotted rectangle around the border and then snap to the opposite corner. Click the print icon in the quick access toolbar. The print area is automatically set to fence because a fence is available in the model. Set the printer to PDF or PDF training. Set the paper size to ISO A1 and make sure the orientation is set to landscape. Click the Maximize button to maximize the size of the print. With the fence accurately placed, the scale is automatically set to 100. Presuming that the printer units are still set to millimeters from the previous video, 100 millimeters in the model will be printed to 100 millimeters on paper, meaning that the design model is printed with a scale of 1 to 100. In the print dialog, click the print icon. Navigate to a folder where you want to save the output PDF, for example, to the backslash msbasics backslash out folder. Save the PDF file as BSI 300 AE9 Atrium Composite 000.pdf. 
open the Adobe Acrobat Reader and view the contents of the PDF file. Close Adobe Acrobat Reader. Close BSI 300 AE9 Atrium.dgn. In this lesson, you learned how to set up and generate a scale print directly from within a design model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.